limit of eccentricity for a hollow rectangular section okay so first of all limit of eccentricity general formula we can write down limit of eccentricity eccentricity limit of eccentricity is direct stress or greater than equal to bending stress okay direct stress is greater than or is equal to bending stress okay so this is so limit of eccentricity it is direct stress or equal to bending stress okay so direct stress means it is p by a direct stress means it is p by a p by a or greater than or equal to greater than or equal to bending stress so bending stress it is p by z e by z z it is section modulus z it is section modulus section modulus z it is section modulus okay. so this p this b it will be get so e is equal to eccentricity it is equal to so it is less than or equal to z by e Less than or equal to zero by e. So this one it is limit of eccentricity. This one it is limit of eccentricity. Okay. This one it is limit of eccentricity. Now our limit of eccentricity is for hollow rectangular section. Okay. So first of all, consider consider a hollow hollow rectangular section. Hollow rectangular section section. section section of external dimension of external external dimensions dimensions external dimensions are capital b and capital b and capital d okay and internal dimension and internal dimensions internal dimensions are small b and small b and small d small d. okay so section modulus first of all section modulus section modulus section modulus section modulus section modulus capital z so capital z is equal to we know that it is i by y 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 so i it is for i it is for rectangular section it is b into capital d cube b into capital d cube minus 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 small b into small d cube small b into d cube divided by this one it divided by 12 divided by 12 So y it is capital D by two, capital D by two, capital D by two. So it will be z is equal to so this two and the two sixteen to the twelve. Okay. So final it will be get in bracket in bracket capital B into capital D cube. It will be into capital D cube minus minus small b into small b into small d cube d cube 
divided by divided by six D divided by six D divided by six D. Okay. So this is section modulus. So now area it is area is, is equal to it is in bracket capital B D minus small small b into d. Okay. This is cross sectional area of hollow rectangular section. Okay. So now eccentricity it is eccentricity it is less than or less than or equal to it is z by a. So z it is can write down z it is in bracket b into capital D q b into capital D q minus minus small b into small d q small b into small d q divided by six d six d divided by divided by area it is in the case in the case capital b into d minus small b into d small b into d bracket okay so it's interesting it is so just simplify this equation so eccentricity is less than or equal to it is in bracket capital capital BDQ capital BDQ minus minus small BDQ minus small bdq minus small bdq back close close so this one it become denominator 6 into d 6 into d capital d and back it b into d minus small b into d this one it is limit of eccentricity for hello rectangular section okay hello rectangular section okay so so action of load action of load will be will be only only in above equation, above equation for compressive stresses developed in the column or compressive, compressive stresses developed in column, developed in the column. So this is limit of eccentricity for hello rectangular section, okay?